So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges for week six and Eververse like usual, but we are adding 801 into the mix because I've noticed that I have a lot of bloat in my channel, specifically a lot of weekly stuff like first and foremost, the seasonal challenges and Eververse videos, the story mission for the week, Xur, and then the final call. That's five videos a week. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, the Xur videos and the, well, I shouldn't say the Xur videos, more so the Ada videos are kind of not worth it. So that's why I still want to do them but not give them got not give ada a dedicated video and i also want to have zero and stuff like that but that's going to be for the last call video so more more than likely we're just going to have three videos for the week um and one of them is kind of like on a timeline or a time limit because the story missions are not forever so we're gonna only going to have two uh weekly videos which is gonna help decrease the bloat which is really weird coming from a youtuber's like mindset because you definitely want more videos on your channel but i also want videos that are gonna do well and honestly for me just 801 ada videos just feel like more bloat than anything else so i might as well just combine it with the seasonal challenges and eververse because that way once the seasonal challenges are over eververse also has something else instead of just the eververse videos so let me know if you guys like this if not we can go always back to ada having her own dedicated video but let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys let's just get into it so to start off we have acolytes ascent six complete week six of the blade path quest not hard this one was pretty simple i will have the basically all of me doing the quest in a later later video probably today or tomorrow we have luminary three master the light by defeating combatants with void arc or solar damage earn bonus progress by affecting combatants with subclass abilities so volatile blind and scorch i would definitely recommend either scorch or volatile blind is kind of annoying to do and volatile with hunters is super mad easy and scorch as well like honestly volatile i would recommend for hunters and scorch is really easy with pretty much anyone but i would recommend the hunters more as well and i'll show you guys some builds uh after we're done with the challenges bone breaker crush loosing hive ghost anywhere in the sabbath throne world earn bonus progress during season of the witch activities not hard at all just honestly i'll i'll show you again i'll show you what i you know what let's just do it now i'll show you what i ended up we're going to be looking at eight to one obviously but I ended up doing one of these right here. The Sabbath students are no wait, was it? Yeah, yeah, I did one of these. Don't do it. Uh, this week's boss, or at least if the bosses aren't in rotation, then this boss will not help you at all. So honestly, just go to Sabbath through Sabbath Thunes throne world and do the, um, the uh, lost sector right here because you have, I think two, yeah, two loosen, uh, loosen hive that spawn in and there's a chance for a loosen hive uh guardian or whatever to spawn in the overworld so definitely would recommend that if you really want to finish that uh sympathetic magic defeat combatants and have to inspire using damage that matches your active subclass not hard you're really especially if you're going to want to do this you're definitely going to want to combine your weapons with your subclass mod collector unlock artifact mods not hard just play the game you get experience uh, trial by firing squad win multiple rounds in trials of osiris i mean i know this i it's not hard but it is hard i would recommend it because you get a free trials weapon but i completely understand if you're like no that's the one i never do completely understand uh calibrate long range calibrate long range weapons pulse rifles bows and trace rifles bonus progress is granted for defeating guardians <clears throat> honestly i would combine this with either this one or this one or both honestly and then heavy hardware get final blows with heavy ammo and ritual activities earn bonus progress for machine gun final blows or by defeating guardians this one's going to be pretty hard for pvp um crucible specifically gambit it's going to be super simple and vanguard probably be the easiest one that being said i don't know if i really care enough to do this like actively although i say that but i'm gonna have to do it if i want this thing right here so as for the builds I'm talking about, Girl Falcon is going to be one. This is my Girl Falcon build that I do. And honestly, Age Old Bond is going to be what you're going to use. Repulsor Brace with destabilizing rounds is going to be really good. There are other weapons that have destabilizing rounds and Repulsor Brace. Not many, but I think there's another one. Um, but the important one would be destabilizing rounds. And then for the heavy, honestly, it doesn't really matter considering uh, Girl Falcon is going to be giving me uh, the... Uh, 
the weakness the volatile rounds so anything void is going to be really good for solar it's going to be no not that one it's uh this one right here <clears throat> so this is going to be working a lot because kylo Ban's hand is going to be making everyone explode plus my gunslinger stuff i'm going to have like my super makes everything explode callous mini tool with incandescent is going to be super clutch can't conditional finality specifically the second shot the solar shot is going to be really good as well so there's definitely a lot of things you could be doing you could also use like avalanche with incandescent which is something i have but yeah this is going to be more than enough to really help you get that progress up for titans and warlocks there are other builds but for me specifically i'm on my hunter and that's why i showcased that so we'll be looking at eververse first and then ada so for eververse we have actually yeah no that's fine rustberry i'm an actual i like i actually like this shader a lot because when you have an armor set that doesn't have the white it looks amazing it's such a good shader for like having a dark look because that like almost brown color is really cool the navy is super dope the black is super cool honestly the biggest thing you're gonna fight is the white that's the only thing that i really hate about this shader but the really cool thing is like let's say for example um these arms these arms don't look good with with everything else i would just switch this out with like a black shader same thing with the cloak the only problematic piece would be the boots because the white right here on the bottom other than that it's a dope shader definitely pick it up we have raven silk which is also another dope shader specifically because it gives the plate armor like a very like weathered look which is why i like it and then dark blade effects <clears throat> I like this i like this uh quite a bit definitely doesn't feel like it but no yeah it does belong in that season season of the uh, opulence because there was a lot of hive but this definitely feels more crota themed we have tyrant's vision for eyes of tomorrow which i'm gonna be real with you guys i'm not gonna pick up like i'm not the biggest fan of it that's really just like my gripe about it it's like it looks cool would I buy it? Fuck no, I wouldn't, especially for however much a thousand. I could I could probably waste a thousand on it. Uh, Feast of Feelings. <clears throat> I don't even remember getting this. Oh, I remember getting this now. Yeah, uh, I got this a while ago, if I remember correctly. We have. No, we have Al Al, Al, Al Hadid which is basically just a dreaming dreaming city ornament. I definitely think it looks cool. But would I get it? That's the problem. Is like I don't know if I would want to get it. Like maybe for like just having like variety. But how much is it? A thousand? I could probably kill a thousand for it. Out of dodge. It's pretty cool. Um, Exohelion. This is a cool ship. Like I actually. Skiff Scribbles shell. Oh, this is the shell from. Wait, no no it's not never mind i don't know what this shell's from but it looks cool um vr exploration cool uh samba dance <clears throat> and then we have cabal shield breaker yeah i'm telling you man the best cabal one is the one where you like you go down like as a ball that one's so cool Fallen Arrival. That one's decent. Hive Arrival. Definitely good. And then for the other shaders, we have Empirical Imperative. I definitely would recommend this shader just because when you have a, an armor set that looks good with it, it looks super good with it. I love the blues, the different blues too. Uh, it's like a shiny blue and then like a really dark blue with black. The only unfortunate part is the yellow. But if you lean into it and like have like electrical pieces into it, it looks really, really cool. We have Boreal Char. I definitely would recommend this shader. It's such a good green. Only problem is that white after or the uh, the white um, off color. That's the only problematic part from the whole set or from the whole shader. But other than that, I think this is a really good sh a green. Bioloom. Not the biggest fan of it. I don't, I don't like green and blue. I just don't think they combined well. At least not in this set and then grayscale undergrowth which has been growing on me yeah it definitely looks cool especially with on plate armor i think it looks way better with plate armor 
So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from Ada or let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from Eververse and challenges as well. For Ada herself, we're going to be looking at Vitrified Duality. <clears throat> I definitely would recommend this shader. It is really cool. It's from Season of Dawn too, so that's pretty old already. So I definitely would recommend it. Also gives a pretty good pink for the glow, which is pretty cool. We have New Pacifica Rush, which I actually didn't even have this one. So you definitely should pick it up. It's basically just New, New Pacifica Rush, but like worn out, especially from the edges you guys can see. The regular one is just all like all full color, colored, no, dis, no um, distressed look or anything like that. And then Dead Orbit Resurrection, this is the distressed look for it. And I definitely think this is a worth a pickup just because when you combine it with certain pieces, it looks amazing, especially with plate armor. You get this really cool textured black, which is super cool. And for armor sets, you guys will check them up right here. I'm not going to talk too much about this because this video is already long enough. So pick up the ones that you want to pick up. Other than that, I, I'll just have the armor showcasing for a bit and then I'll end the video. So I appreciate you guys. I really mean it. Other than that, be safe and I'll see you guys later.